So BBLs. yeah, cats can oh, see ghosts. Like BB, BB cats, BBCs. BB. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Being beautiful cats. Come on. <laughs> okay. Okay. I I thought you meant big black cats. <laughs> no, <laughs> dude. God damn it. Because it's Halloween's right around the corner, so. Or beautiful British children. <laughs> mm. Oh my god. Yeah. Uh, we have fun over here. <laughs> Do we? Do we? <laughs> that's fun. Are we having fun? I yet? think all of that's <laughs> you, really fun. Have you guys, have you guys mm. seen uh, Party Down? The show Party yeah. Down? Yeah. I, well, I, have not seen yeah. I haven't Down. watched Ever. any of the revival if it's oh, already okay, me out. Neither. Me neither. Me neither. Just okay. friend Adam kept telling me I should watch Party Down. Are we I just, having I like fun that show a lot. yet? <laughs> <laughs> I, love, I love saying that. Uh, I love yeah. that. <laughs> I love the part where the guy I forgot what celebrity they hang out with at his house or whatever it's a guy who plays himself um, oh yeah, yeah, yeah but then like they're chilling in his jacuzzi it says like don't worry man like nine times a ten if you got the talent you'll make it what about that one guy <laughs> <laughs> hey who wants who wants tequila woo having <laughs> <laughs> fun who would be that one guy from Star Trek TNG? Um, probably one guy. Kelsey Kelsey Clinton. <laughs> <laughs> I keep saying Kelsey Clinton, <laughs> dude. This uh, Michael episode, Dorn. This, this episode. This episode. My favorite of the season. Really? Yeah. You I can the fucking I, love of time whoa. travel. Yeah. I time, love time, time, time travel so much. Timey wimey stuff. You love the. Wait. We should have begun the. We should have begun like this. Wait. Wait. Did I pitch you guys where I'd go if I time traveled? I, no. uh, I think you have, but run, run it by us again. Okay, Here, here's my pitch for the new listeners. Okay, look, you don't want to fuck with a, with with like. Look, if I go back and I fuck like I make myself rich, I may not meet my wife, and then eventually have a kid, my kid, sure. mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. So I don't want to risk that. I don't want to make myself rich or none of that bullshit. But I do want to have fun. I want to go back in time, and I'm gonna go. I'm gonna hit like the early 90s late 80s and hit every fast food place in their prime mm. that's right that's right yeah yeah, yeah. right right that's what you and said. then come back right. not worry about a thing i didn't change anything no you're gonna bring I'm, back I'm, the, I may, the, the 90s fast food chemicals well into- yeah I may, I may get um <laughs> mad cow disease remember the, the, uh, <laughs> yes. yeah. jack in the box, jack in the box? <laughs> yeah stay clear of like the mid 90s <laughs> yeah, yeah, I guess you're right. Early nineties, early ni- like you don't need a jumbo jack that badly. Yeah, yeah, yeah like like fine. dead on nineteen eighty. You know Is what's it like so crazy? Back when they put like cocaine in in coke, maybe that was the nineteen hundreds. That's yeah, like okay. that's like <laughs> yeah, over a hundred years ago. <laughs> yeah, um, <laughs> or when they used to fry like um, uh, McDonald's fries and like beef. Beef tallow, tallow yeah. yeah. Yeah, or something yeah. like that. Yeah. 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 And then the amazing. vegans found out and ruined it for everyone because those are the best French fries in the business. Yeah, it was also it? back when chicken nuggets could be dark meat or white meat. And oh the white meat Oh my God, sucked. I remember that, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. I remember um, you could order a 10-piece all dark and it was delicious. Oh, man. Do you guys, rem- do you guys remember the, white uh, meat, the big deal? The big deal at uh, Jack and Box? I was... I, I was mm. Actually, like, no, I lie. Was I was a huge Jack in the Box. It was a two. It was two tacos, <laughs> a jumbo jack, fries, and a drink. Oh yes, for like yes, I remember bucks. this. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Wow. Like, oh, yeah. It was less than that actually. I think. And it's uh, the precursor my, to their to their um, munchy meal. Yeah, now their yeah, munchy is, meal has sort of replaced that. Yeah. Um, we were, we're eating, back on fucking food again. <laughs> we were eating. We were eating um, uh, the big deal when my dad got the news that his father died. <laughs> and, oh my god! Uh, oh my god! Yeah, and Jesus. he loved. He loved. He still loves. He he loved the 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 big deal because it was just like everything he wanted. He was like a fucking jumbo jack, two tacos, fries. It's everything. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and then and then after that, uh, they canceled it. They still haven't brought it back. Well, it's a munchie uh, meal now. That's why. Yeah, yeah, and he's been very upset. They're like, first, first they took my father, then the big. Deal. <laughs> <laughs> first they came for my father, and then I yeah, did nothing. nothing. Then they came for my <laughs> big, big deal. Big deal. <laughs> <laughs> well, why they cancel it? Did it, like say a slur? I think. I, I think. I think it. It just they were losing too much money. Yeah, oh, Jack wow. said okay. a huge slur. Yeah, because yeah. all the munchie meal um, sandwiches are like tiny. Wait, what are you talking about? Jack said a slur <laughs> wait, what it, yeah. wait is this a thing yeah no. Jumbo Jack, the only the, thing jack did was blow up a boardroom full of executives when he first returned yeah which oh, is I great thought there was some like you know like the jared guy from subway turned out to well, be a he, pedophile no well, he did thing. say the n-word 
Jack. Yeah. Did. yeah. Back in the day, Jack would yeah. just no, love saying N word after N word. <laughs> yeah. You know. Oh you know, God. like you'd be like We're watching this sued. You'd be yeah, watching the Simpsons, and then like allegedly, you know, a, allegedly, a Jack in the Box commercial. Comes Marvin, on. Marvin, allegedly, 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 oh allegedly, allegedly. Edit, edit this, edit this in the beginning. Allegedly, Jack and you know yeah. Jack Alleg- from Jack in the Box allegedly. comes on. He goes, by the hey, way, out, hey you, all you N words out there. That's how you start out <laughs> yeah. his his commercials. Um, oh by the way, uh, if Jack in the Box is listening to this, the Bring back the Jumbo Jack fucking big deal, dude. For my dad. Yeah, dude. We'll, we'll take down this, this. We'll take down the N word slander. Yeah. If you bring back the big deal. Yeah. Look, also, keep the drink. Return, keep the drink. Re- look, return your you ultimate cheeseburger in. quality back to the quality it used to be. I used to love your ultimate cheeseburger. We're N- making now, a lot of demands, dude. Now it's this trash. Is a, this Who is are a we? fucking Star Trek podcast. Can we? <laughs> we are attempting to blackmail fast food companies. <laughs> look. I used to eat when chairs. I was a kid. I used to get Jack in the Box so much. I would get the pods. while you were watching while you were watching Star Trek. You, you know, because <laughs> then it'll, it'll be relevant relevant to this. Exactly. Yeah, I would break get home. I would uh, unpack my Jack in the Box pogs. I would get. With my ultimate cheeseburger meal, and I would <gasps> those watch would be shitty pogs though. Do, do, yeah, do they have do they have Star Trek pods? Because I like to get my. Hands oh yeah, on. they have Star Trek pogs for sure, dude. Hey, oh, pods. Damn, we need there. to get some freaking Star if, Trek pods. I want yeah, some Star yeah. Trek pods. If anybody dude. has Star Trek pogs, take take a picture of them and send it to us. Yeah, my, show us my, your tra- Star Trek pogs. My pog, col- I this is legitimate. Show us your slammers. I had Star yeah, Trek yeah. pods, pogs, and they were mixed in with Jack in the Box pogs and Dragon Ball Z pogs. <laughs> That was my collection of Pogs. So I would have Pogs with Dragon Ball Z characters with their power level on the back of the Pog. That's an unbeatable <laughs> tube, man. <laughs> Mixed with Jack in the Box character mm. Pogs. I during the- and You're only collecting <laughs> Pogs off of that. Play, play for keeps and it only expands. During the last World Cup, the US World, uh, World Cup that, mm. that the US hosted, they were Pogs were big and I collected all of the countries that participated in the- uh, Oh wow! The, uh, World Cup. God so damn it, Ricardo! You, I what? thought you were about oh. to say that Pogs was an official sport. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> you Could went be, full though. Poggers and yeah. uh, Dude, the entire. I'll Pog say it again. Set. This episode, best of the season. This episode, known as yeah. cause and effect. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh wow! I can't wait to talk about it. I'm very interested to see well, what, why. Well, it did air on March 23rd of 1992. Or Dan, did it? Go. Timey-wimey. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I mean, reruns, right? So it did keep playing over yes. and over again. This is a time yeah, to sure did. Yeah. Up till now, it's still playing. We yeah, watched just it. Just watched so. it. Oh, my God. Wow. So uh, back around that time, only a week elapsed since the last airing. So we got Vanessa Williams on top of the Billboard charts with Save the Best for Last. Mm-hmm. Um, then we also have, on uh, March 18th, the official release of Street Fighter 2 Dash, a.k.a. Street Fighter 2 Champion Edition, released in arcades. Mm-hmm. And then we also saw the release of Paul Verhoeven's next movie two years after Total Recall. It was the neo-noir erotic thriller called Basic Instinct, starring nice. Michael Douglas and Sharon Stone. Eventually became a commercial success and topped the box office for several weeks because sex sells, goddammit. So did you um, know Sharon Stone, in when she was in Total Recall, refused to show her boobs for mm-hmm. Paul Verhoeven, said, you're a huge pervert, Paul Verhoeven. I don't want to show you my boobs. But then the next movie she worked on was Basic Instinct. <laughs> Where she shows her vag to the whole world. Yeah, yeah, but guess what, dude? Paul <laughs> Rowland had, intend- had Paul yeah, Rowland had become a reformed person. <laughs> <laughs> well, or so we yeah. thought, because he promised her that he wouldn't actually yeah, show it dude. on screen, He's and then he did. Liar, dude. Yeah, that's and true. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so um, it, it made a lot of money. Like later, I wonder why. Um, <laughs> People love Either way, Douglas, dude. you should all Douglas, be thankful Douglas, that Douglas. you all now live in a world where any screen within reach is now a potential vulvaganza. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> Don't have to go to a theater no more. Yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, just an extravaganza. <laughs> no, a, a vulvaganza. A vulva. <laughs> Are you listening? <laughs> That's a trip around the sun. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, before we can Wait. continue on with our vulva 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 extravaganza, yeah. we're going to <laughs> it's a cause and effect. We have to talk about our sponsors. Who in their own way are also a vulva extravaganza. 
Yeah. Sure. Can I tell you yeah. what I did? Uh, what sponsor are you doing first? Oh, ExpressVPN. ExpressVPN. Let, let, let me talk about my, my, my experience the other oh, day. Oh, my God. Okay. Mm, I'm, tell I'm us. Gonna, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to preemptively say allegedly. Allegedly. Okay. So, allegedly. Uh, Alexa, shut the fuck up. Alexa, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. That's going to stay in. <laughs> um, allegedly. I don't know why she thought I said the A word. Um <laughs> I wanted to watch. Okay, so Hulu in the U.S. now has commercials, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. And I didn't want on that all shit. tiers, though. Uh, well, not, yeah. If you pay like a like, hundred bucks per month, yeah, you can get fucking Hulu in the commercials. <laughs> if you, if you but, buy stock in Hulu, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you if you blow fucking Walt Disney corpse, <laughs> then you get free no no commercial free. Um, but anyway, so. Express you can't gonna love that. that I said that. Um, so I was like, I wish I could isolate. Just my Apple TV, so I so I don't have to put everything on mm. on uh, under my VPN. Mm. And I was like, I wonder. So I went into my router, and it lets me select which thing I oh, want yeah. to put a VPN on. Split tunneling. Yeah. So I I downloaded the thing from ExpressVPN. It shows you how to download. It basically gives you the directions how to oh, yeah. download the profile and the username and password. Mm-hmm. I punched it in, and then when I want now, I launch my my Wi-Fi router app. I, mm-hmm. I hit on and only the Apple TV is on fucking on the VPN that's from London. So I can watch allegedly all the all, allegedly all the Hulu channels mm-hmm. on Disney Plus commercial free. Hell wow. yeah, dude. Yeah, dude. Brilliant. Nice. And you yeah, don't have to switch apps. That's a good theory. I, I don't that's have a to. Really good yeah, it's a good theory. And you don't have yeah. to switch apps. Like, go, oh, I'm a Disney now. I want to watch a Hulu show. I don't to, mm. It's in the same fucking app, allegedly. Yeah. Um, so that's, a, you that's know, a beautiful thing. You know what's beautiful also, world. speaking of blocking ads or not having ads, that's a new feature ExpressVPN actually added to the VPN. No a way. A built in ad blocker. What? So what, the way that works is if you just connect to ExpressVPN, you know how like traditional ad blockers are built into your browser, right? And it has yeah. a blacklist. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Are they like beta blockers? <laughs> I have a bad ticker. <laughs> <laughs> now it's across your like, entire you're device. Blue blockers. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. I'm, are you talking about blue blockers with sunglasses? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but but like for example, let's say you're using an app, right? And the app itself has like built-in ads. You know, I'm cancel this, dude. If you're in ExpressVPN with the ad blocker on, yeah. that ad is blocked. It doesn't show up. Like magic. So it's a, yeah, it's just across all things that use ads. Wow. They'll just block them. It's crazy. What but, if, allegedly? What if allegedly you're cruising uh, a certain websites <laughs> that have ladies that are Volvo so that's free. one of the downsides. <laughs> so apparently, <Free>? ExpressVPN. <laughs> Also includes an adult site blocker. So oh. wait, an adult site wait, wait, no, blocker? No, no, no. I, I, we don't want to block. We yeah, want to. We really want to let those it. through. We exactly. Those yeah. Exactly. So, dear listener, Aww. if you if you get ExpressVPN, <laughs> turn on the ad blocker, but leave the adult site blocker off. Yeah. Well. Uh, well. Obviously, well, that's why would for, they have that feature? That's for families. That for children? It's, it's that's obviously for, for families. families. Yeah. yeah but yeah. look, why would you even do that? Let the kid explore. I don't know. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. You. You, you just put enough firewalls or like enough rules so it like the kid has to learn how to like kind of be a hacker to do it yeah and if he can and if he can then then he's smart you enough. deserve it yeah, yeah. You deserve it. You, but you, but you have to, to go, give him you have to through. give a kid like just enough of a challenge to be like oh man and then next time maybe you give him a bigger challenge you know yeah <laughs> Oh my um, God. That way it's, allegedly. it's okay, rewarding we, when he, he finally the, gets is, to the porn. But is that yeah. fair? We didn't have that many challenges. Uh, yeah, have yeah, you yeah we did. To unscramble uh, we had to, we had to go all the way to the movie we, theater we to, to see learn. one vulva, Sarah. <laughs> yes. We had to learn how the internet yeah. works. Yeah. Basic, see basic instinct. Okay. No one yeah. even For knew how the... We had to learn how to do all that. Sarah, you don't have a VHS tape called Boner Jams. 1998, dude. You didn't have to create a network, <laughs> a, like an information network amongst your friends being yeah. like, okay, what are porn sites we can go to? What are you, th- There's no Google. Was that you just a thing? Ha- you, just, you just have you to just find have the, word the of porn mouth? sites yourself. S- Sarah, you've, ne- you've never had the... the, the I actually have no experience with this. You've never had the troubling thought of going, how do I catalog this in Boner Jams? Because it was released... 
<laughs> in 98, but I'm recording it in 99. Do I record it in the 99 tape or the 98 tape? Um, oh, my yeah, God. Yeah, you're not in middle school trading shady copies of La Blue Girl on VHS. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, that's a oh deep cut. God. I, I, I have Funny zero fact, experience. I was the only one who didn't do that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, allegedly, okay, allegedly, Dan. allegedly. Well, okay, uh, so I take it back. I, I got my own shit, difficult. okay? It was <laughs> difficult for you guys. But okay, hey, okay. just like how we were growing up back then, so is ExpressVPN. In fact, <laughs> they grew their server network t- to an additional amount of countries to add More to Turkey. Hu- 105 countries <laughs> they now support. That's a shit They're, they're, they're going to cancel and, our contract, dude. They're not going to pay us for this fucking and, ad, dude. <laughs> and, dude, they don't know what the blue girl and, is. And you know how before that you could use Express VPN on up to five devices simultaneously? How many now it's eight. You can do it up to eight devices. You, you know what? Nice. You know what? You know what? These guys, they're fucking gentlemen, dude. And and ladies. <laughs> but I'll tell you what, dude. You know what these fucking. They're not doing VP, stress VPN is not doing this. They're not doing that bitch ass thing where like we're gonna crack down and fucking logins. It's like no, no dude, eight logins at once. They're you adding fucking, logins. You, you give it to your fucking <laughs> give it to your give it to your whole family, dude. Yeah, um, mom, dad, sister. Yeah, yeah, everyone. share it around because if you just if you go to expressvpn.com slash newbie Star Trek and you sign up for twelve months, you still get three months for free that's a total savings of 49 percent off and i just checked just to make sure it's still that price that's still only six dollars and 67 cents a month that's less than a dollar per person per month yeah dude that's instead of saving those pretty those, good those dogs in that fucking <laughs> sarah mclaughlin commercial get yourself an express <laughs> vpn dude for the price of one coffee a day you could yeah. be protected <laughs> or or how about this? How about instead of giving out candy to children in your neighborhood, just spend all that holiday candy on a subscription to <laughs> Yeah, that's a great one. And then be a hermit all year. Yeah. They don't need your candy, you know, but you need secure access to the internet. And that's why you should head on over to expressvpn.com slash newbie Star Trek. And when you sign up for 12 months, they'll give you three months for free. What a deal. Just like this deal from Exter, E-K-S-T-E-R. You know what? They're more than just great, compact, stylish wallets with quick access buttons that let you reach all of your cards really fast. They also I sell love other stuff. Exer. Oh, hey, hey, Marvin, we were at a party, a dinner oh. party on Sunday, and we were showing everybody the wallets. Oh, you can't say that, dude. You can't say was, that. You gotta say we're showing them our dick skins. Yeah, uh, <laughs> and we're like, wow, is this pure dick skin? We're like, yes, yes, it is. We Touch uh, it, allegedly, feel it. allegedly, allegedly, are you like going uh, around uh, a bunch I, of samples like a Mary Kay person? Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly. Well, we got well, the, the funny part is we got the like, black okay. So what happened is we we got extra wallets. We got extra wallets and fucking Herbalife. It's a pedal. Well, someone exactly. someone was actually there. Like, I need a new wallet. Well, yeah. You guys know. And then I was like, ah, I personally like this one because I could have gotten, uh, I'll just say it, a, a Ridge wallet. That's like the big thing people Ooh. tend to, to push. But I don't like the Ridge wallet very much. I think nah, it looks dude. Kind of Fuck the Ridge wallet, dude. If you're going <laughs> to uh, get something other than extra, get a Bellroy wallet. Yeah, That's or like, like you know, and I and I did want a small wallet still, but I didn't yeah. want to go all the way down to a money clip because uh, you know that one, uh, it's hard to find a money clip that doesn't damage your cards. And two, like sometimes I want to still keep my cards hidden. Like I don't want it to like kind of hang free. So you're on the you're on the the hang loose. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Where where you know the nice part of the extra wallets is that they're all are they're they are all RFID blocking, so yeah. someone yeah. can't just walk well, by. To, to, to be fair, to mm-hmm. be fair, you found out the hard way that. Salt water does affect the wallet. <laughs> yes. Well, not uh, not until you then drop it down the stairs, though. Yeah. So yeah. when I first swam with it in salt water, it was actually fine. It yeah. survived pretty okay, even despite it, it look, being a leather look, wallet. Yeah. Look, <laughs> if you swim in 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 like a pool, it's probably going to be fine. But salt water, yeah. we cannot guarantee that, dude. Yeah. Although I was in fact, fine. In fact, we pretty well, we can't so. guarantee shit, shit, dude. Talk to extra, <laughs> dude. Um, by well, the way, if you're a new listener, um. Welcome in. Welcome to the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Why now? Well, now it's not it, the time. <laughs> well, because because it's we. They're like they're they're talking about dick skin during their sponsor, dude. Mm-hmm. That's oh, that's, they know. They know. They know. They know. Right. Well, if you want to get that all, get that one of those wallets or many of the other products that Extra sells, because they're more than just wallets. They also have 
backpacks and keychains and weekend bags and all the other, all this other stuff. They're great. They got a bunch of stuff to sell. Head on over to shop.exter.com slash newbie or use offer code newbie when you check out at exter.com, E-K-S-T-E-R.com. And it adds an additional 25% off any order you make site wide, which means it stacks with ongoing sales. So I'm going to say it, dude. I'm going to say it. No one else going to say it, but I'm going to say it. If you say, if you're thinking to yourself, I can only afford one of these deals. What do I get? I'm going to say, get the fucking VPN because <laughs> a, you could share with eight people. No, yeah. you know, I'm never like launching fucking eight devices at once, dude. If you are, <laughs> you're watching way too much porn. <laughs> Bring it down, dude. Uh, but take a break. But, like, yeah, if eight logins at once, that's good. That's good for like three people, dude, to have it on like their phone, their iPad, you know, I would get that deal. That's what I, would I will say though. Christmas is coming up. And, get them you know, get VPNs for people. Well, if you it. could do that, or or uh, hey, maybe someone needs a wallet too. No, nah. you know, yeah, maybe, maybe you want something that fits in a box. Yeah, you know what awesome. fits in a box? A, a, a VPN subscription, <laughs> <laughs> or why not both? What? Yeah, well, yeah. Anyway, right. if you get if you guys want, you're into that. All a bunch of they have a bunch of their stuff. You know, free shipping any order above fifty dollars or more. Free returns within a hundred days of receiving your order. At least a twelve month warranty in all products and a free tool cart with any order of $125. So again, head on over to shop.exter.com slash newbie, or just use offer code newbie at exter.com, E-K-S-T-E-R.com for up to an additional 25% off any order site-wide. Oh my I God. I want to say this. I want to say this to a new, new listener. Hey, welcome to the show. If you're easily offended, hey, no worries, dude. This isn't the podcast for you. Yeah. It's fine. Just go and leave us a bad review. That's okay. Um, yes. <laughs> but but tell you what, dude, if you're wondering like, oh, they're just peddling their wares with these fucking VPNs and dick skin wallets. Let me tell you, dude, we've had offers from other sponsors and we've turned them down because we don't use that shit. You know what I mean? Yep. We, we haven't well, like. Even when we mm-hmm. got the offer, we're like, okay, we'll look into it. We yeah. buy it ourselves without. Uh, a thing and like a yeah. like a promo or We're already anything. users just, of these yeah. items. Yeah, ExpressVPN and Exter we happened to already be using. I actually uh, specifically reached out to them because I liked using them already personally. Yeah, so I was We're like, gonna reach yeah, out cool. to uh, yeah. Pornhub, see what they say. Yeah, <laughs> that would be the mother of all sponsors if we were sponsored by. It's ba- <laughs> it's like when the FGC used to be sponsored by browsers, and that was like. <laughs> Damn, uh, dude. Before we get started, like I group, have though. I have a I have a random question that's been on my mind. It's really random, Uh-oh. but Is it I just uh, I don't. It's personal to you, whatever. It's a poll, more like a poll. Oh, okay. So the question is, and this just just been on my mind because it got brought up, and I didn't realize people did things differently when Oof. when you take a shower. Oh boy, do uh, okay. you a sonic shower or a regular shower? <laughs> A regular daily shower. Uh, a regular do water you, shower. A water shower. A, a cleansing, hygienic Z- shower. Yeah. Do you do you change in the bathroom or in your bedroom or some other place? Like where do well, you define get change? Yeah. Like put your clothes on. Uh, if I'm alone, I'd like to go into my bedroom to do it. Um, there's a lot of variables that <laughs> yeah, like like yeah, if there's company variables. over, yeah. I will do yeah. it. No, in no, no, no. The if, no, no, no. If you're like your normal every day, I understand. Like if you have company over, whatever. But like your normal, like do people? I guess I was shocked to hear that people change in their bathrooms even if alone. I change in my bathroom even if alone. A lot of people what? do that. Yeah. Why yeah. is that shocking? A lot of people do like, that. Why is that shocking? Why wouldn't I want to get dressed as soon as I get out of the shower? Why wait till like walk fucking like 10 steps to my fucking bedroom? Just get what? fucking dressed I mean, there. I mean, I don't know why it's, I mean, it's, it's I nearly different. That. I don't know why it's shocking. Isn't it like all humid, like all wet and stuff? I dry, like, I, I'm, when I get out of the shower, I'm completely what? fucking dry because I, I take my what? time to dry myself, dude. I don't in know what shower? you're doing, dude, when you're just half assing the drying, what? dude. So people get changed in the bathroom? Oh yeah, God. dude. That's, so insane. that's, that's not you, that's not that strange. Yeah, dude. I don't know. I don't, I I don't just, know why you're freaking out over this. This is a I don't know. It's like thing. one of those things that, like, when I learned, was it last if week? You're at, we're talking if you're about in, if, you, if you're in college and you're in the dorm rooms, you don't fucking get dressed. You go like, walk naked all the I, way back to I your dorm room. I wrapped a towel around myself and walked to my room. But none of us did that. You're the yeah, only that, one. Who did you're, that. you're the you're the weirdo, <laughs> dude. Yeah, dude. You just wrap a towel and you you walk and change in your what room. What if what if a dog comes out of nowhere and bites the, the towel and rips it away, dude? Like the commercials. 
Yeah. <laughs> so I guess I'm just, it's one of those things like you where you take a shower I learned at the people... beach, do you drive all the way back home to your bedroom <laughs> to get dressed? <laughs> like, like... No, obviously not. But I'm just saying, like in my everyday life, like I don't, I can't believe people change in the bathroom. That's, well, here's, that's a, here's my problem. I can believe it. Is, I mean, I don't why, do it myself, but you, I can easily believe correctly people do it. In the bathroom um, to just put your shit on. Because it's all like humid and like it's not humid at all you, you just dry well, and take then a hot dry. shower no but it's Bunch all like you know like i want dry i want to i want to dry off in a not moisture well yeah area. like and i agree with that you know? i just i also find it very easy to believe that other people are different yeah, yeah dude. i just didn't i, I guess a, it's, it's one of those things that well it's like what i was saying last week where people take off their pants or get completely <laughs> naked to to take oh, a, here we go a poo so i just yeah i don't know someone i was listening to on youtube said they changed in their bathroom and i was like what people do that i don't know anyway my world has been what? shattered people I do something know. slightly different from what i do yeah. i just didn't i just didn't know i i thought people, people I thought in the world it was just people in the world are eating boiled chickens dude no seasoning dude just korean specifically so wait, 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 what are you i know i obviously i know it Dan does. I know what Marvin does. Dan, what do you do? You What the hell are you talking about? You change in the bathroom? <laughs> what am I do What? You do, you do you boil your chicken in the bathroom? <laughs> Do you change in the bathroom after a shower? You take your clothes with you into the after bathroom. After a shower, do you do you boil chicken as a snack? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Only sometimes because I'm not a very good Korean. <laughs> Uh, Interesting. Uh, Denise Crosby is also know. not a very good. Okay, Ricardo, that's the end of for my could random. Could you please tell us what happened question. in this episode? I will, Denise. Calm down. Calm your horses down. Uh, wait a minute, by the I way, got, I got, wait, wait, hold on. What's that? <laughs> is this is this from Groundhog Day? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> See, here's the thing: is um. I we're gonna get a fucking strike on YouTube for that. Um, <laughs> we're fine. <laughs> um, the thing is, look, I love uh, live die repeat movies. Mm. Like we're yeah. you're, tomorrow. You're just, this is edge tomorrow. especially yeah, that one movie yeah. called Live Die Repeat. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Before um, they, they, they the cowards changed it to Edge of Tomorrow. Yeah, oh, and man. then they changed it again. I always thought it was the other way around. I guess I'm wrong. I thought no. it was originally uh, called originally originally. Uh, it was called. Um, all you need is kill. All you need is kill. Yes. Oh that's my god. Source material. That, that's, the, that's the Japanese title. The American title was going to be "Live Die Repeat," which is a sick title. That it, it's yeah. really very good. clearly explains what the movie is. And then they had to cower it out and call it "Edge of Tomorrow." Which but, was, then, which makes, but then, but then, no, no, no. But, but then they changed nothing. it back. But then they changed it back to "Live Die Repeat" for the sequel. Uh, colon. Right? No, no, no. Colon. Uh, the Edge of Tomorrow. Really? That's what the, right, that's what right. the current title is. Because they re-released really? it again. They re-released it, yes. Dude. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, yeah. they tweaked right. it for like home release and digital, yeah, I think. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So anyway, I love this where like you're you're mm -hmm. kind of like trying to fix the day. Uh, they've done it in every single, you know, movie, show. Mm -hmm. It's a pretty um, well at this point, well established trope. I don't know if it was well established at the time of nineteen. At the time, I don't believe it was because I think Groundhog Day was the one that made sure this trope exploded, and it hadn't released yet. It was actually about a year beforehand. Oh, okay. So this ex this inspired Groundhog Day. <laughs> so, well, I, I mean, not, I, I, not, I, I, not a direct inspiration because it was less than yeah, a year. But Brandon Braga must be so mad about Groundhog Day <laughs> because that movie probably ruined this episode for him. Yeah. <laughs> so. The show starts off, and I immediately knew as soon as the Enterprise fucking blows up, I'm like, oh, oh this you is. You knew a, what kind of episode it was going to yeah. be? Yeah, it was yeah. a timey It's such an I ingrained. thought it was a dream. I thought it was like more of a dream uh, no. thing. Like somebody yeah. was dreaming, and I don't know. It was too real. It was too real. Yeah. Well, I think I think the tell for it to not be a dream is the there's focus no, was, was sharp. There's nobody going, oh, oh. What was yeah. that? And then they wake up because that's no, how you, no, they would signal. Well, to I mean, audience. I realized that once that didn't happen. But at the did you, first, did you scene, think? I did you think Freddie was going to come out and go, "Oh, bitch"? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> exactly. I mean, it's a sort of teaser where it's like, oh, "Okay, what's the hook?" Like you, yeah. you stick around because yeah, it's yeah. like, well, obviously that can't just be like that. So what is it? <laughs> no, they're all just going to die. This is the end of it. <laughs> it would have been so funny. <laughs> That'd been awesome. If, That'd if been awesome. It exploded, though. and then like yeah. the rest of the episode is like on a starbase somewhere, and they're like, "We just got word." No, the rest of the episode is just 45 minutes of the credits a space it's just the, the credits of the of the <laughs> well that would be interesting you get like you actually cut to a completely different cast 
on yeah. like a star base and they're like the enterprise exploded oh my god and they're just dealing with it and they're like oh my god what do we do yeah we'll have to yeah. go out and investigate yeah, it, was a, it was a fun Never opening forget. to just kind of you know start off with that kind of action yeah it's, intriguing. Right. it's fun it's quite the yeah. intriguing so, so there's not a lot to this to talk about this episode meaning like just because it, it repeats itself but this is this <laughs> yeah. these are the the, the we the can edits. explain the repeat we can explain yeah, yeah. the cycle so so, so yeah. the 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 we'll, we'll run through one cycle and then like the the differences i do like okay uh, so let's let's explain it and then and then I'll explain something that really confused me and I thought something else. Okay. So basically the 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 sequence is they're playing poker. It's it's Worf, uh um Beverly, mm -hmm. Riker, and Data. They're playing mm -hmm. poker. Mm -hmm. And then they but who is it? Beverly like figures out like that Riker's bluffing and she like goes on all in basically and wins. Yeah. At poker. Mm -hmm. Well, not um, necessarily figures out. She says she just had a feeling, right? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. But by the way, I don't like this version of poker that they're playing. I fucking hate it. Yeah, um, I actually, not <laughs> I'm not. I'm unfamiliar with it, so I was mildly confused as to what. What they is were this doing. version of poker? Yeah, isn't it just like not draw the best, stud? Yeah, it, it's like not fucking Texas Hold'em, um, which it Texas Hold'em is like the best one. But they were like showing all of their cards, except one, except one. Yeah, yeah. Is that that's I see, I've never played mm. that version of poker before. So I it's, yeah, it's a Version. Is that called something specific? I don't remember the name. It must of this, be, but, but yeah, I'm yeah. not a card shark guy. Yeah, they um, they keep changing what version of poker they play for every time they have their their card set up. Why is this poker thread? Did was someone in the was someone really was Gene really into poker or something? No. Like, so ever since the, ever since um, Measure of a Man, which started with the, this, is the first time the poker game showed up, uh, they've been just using it as like a like a, a fun device it's to just have all the cast every time yeah. but it's also just a, a fun way to have all the cast joined together for like a nonsense activity something that's not why like not um why not you know go fish or something or some other <laughs> uno 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 <laughs> uno would be fun yeah, yeah, War oh man uno? there's an episode where they're playing jenga <laughs> yeah. that'd be sick they're or like jenga <laughs> yeah exactly Warsaw, Warsaw, Warf -saw, Warf -saw, you must draw four um, <laughs> Yeah. Um, so that reversal has no honor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you didn't call out Uno. Um, so they're playing poker and Beverly wins. And then Jordy goes to sick bay and they call Beverly into sick bay because he's there. And he's like, oh, I was about to fall. And I was like seeing things. And then dizzy. someone, someone mm -hmm. caught me. Uh, another guy caught me. He almost and fell into the warp core, I guess. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Which is crazy. Yeah. yeah. yeah that's and then pretty, Beverly goes to sleep. She puts her she puts her Bible on like a fishbowl and then yeah. she she doesn't <laughs> brush her teeth. Yeah. I don't know <laughs> yeah. what the fuck that is. Yeah. That <laughs> she 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 has wine she and then goes to sleep. Half murders a plant first. Yeah. <laughs> she uh, she's terrible at pruning. She's just she turns off the lights and then she puts her wine glass down but she doesn't brush her teeth afterwards so she just goes to sleep with dirty yeah, ass teeth yeah that's weird yeah and it's, it, it's so, it looks like a I don't why know, does I she tell. actually why Sonic does she mouthwash. snip off she does snip off a live like flower one why it's cause she has no idea what one? she's doing yeah. <laughs> so she she wakes up cause she hears voices uh, and the the glass falls onto the floor yeah Kinda and creepy. the voices we, we find out they're like echoes of like, mm -hmm. all the times they've been doing this Mm -hmm. And so they all get called for for a meeting in the meeting room. I don't know, I forget what it's called. Dude. Yeah, it's just the. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and then so they're like, oh, you know, like this is crazy. They're 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 talking about like weird things that are you know like overall things that are happening in the ship. And then Beverly says, hey, I've I heard some voices, and immediately Deanna's like, hmm, that sounds a little <laughs> crazy. <laughs> well, yeah, okay, do you tell? I don't know, I don't know Beverly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. How much were you drinking? Uh, and I've so, never heard auditory hallucinations. <laughs> yeah, never. Um, Never. And this is this is one of the episodes where Deanna's powers are not kicking in at all. Dude. Again, she didn't, yeah, she didn't that annoyed anything. me so much. They're like, yeah, Deanna, yeah. did you pick up uh, on anything? She's like, okay. not a thing. So, didn't, so didn't sense anything. So, so from the conference room, the, the the event happens where something keeps coming through the portal and it hits them, right? But yes, right. The, the, the funny the, part the, to me every time the loop happens, the time fissure, the time fissure. Yeah, the t it, every time the the ship comes out of the fissure. 
Deanna goes, we have to get out of here. <laughs> yeah. Shut up, Captain Obvious. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, it's like, don't. no shit. <laughs> thanks, thanks, for the, thanks for the insight. Very helpful. So really Worf calls it. him, which Worf, I wonder if Worf feels left out because he wasn't in this meeting, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Was he not? Yeah. Is he not? No. He's meeting? not in this meeting. He's on the bridge, remember? He's on the bridge. Yeah, he's on oh, the bridge. You know, I think in different versions of the loop, yeah. he is in the meeting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Later on. yeah. But in that so, version, maybe like it's the it's maybe it's like a general like month like weekly staff meeting to yeah, keep everyone. Why wouldn't meeting. he be there? He should be there. He's, he doesn't well, like meetings. If he can Ro, avoid a meeting, is Ro he there? Is, he's, he's good. Rose no, not there. Rose's like, not there either. She's on the she's driving. say it, dude. He's, He's like, like this looking. could have been an email. She's good looking. Well, she has a really like, bad wig on. Do you like her new Let's, wig? I'm, I'm, I'm into it, dude. I'm into that that it. Is. Her new Shadow Heart wig for people yeah, who I'm are playing it. Battle Baldur's Gate um, three. It looks just like Shadow Heart. Why wig. does she have that wig? <laughs> that horrible. Like, it's fine. I mean, Sarah, now she looks her, more dude. like a uh, like a stereotypical Vulcan. Yeah, yeah it might be despite being Bajoran. She's not a Vulcan. guys, Vulcan in the streets. Um, but so I, I so imagine she, uh, Michelle Forbes probably had a different role, and she needed different hair. Well, it's a really bad wig. They were just like, uh, you know ah, what? You don't shame her, her dude. dirty. She <laughs> looks beautiful, dude. Uh, it also so, makes her look a little bit like lol, actually. Oh yeah, like, yeah. Laughing well, out loud. Well, well, well <laughs> uh, Data's daughter that died because she felt emotions. Oh, <laughs> yeah. lol. Um, so that so should have been her name, just lol. Sh- That's why she died. She la- yeah. she was she couldn't was laugh out loud. Yeah, because she yeah. laughed out loud. Yeah. So the ship comes out of the anal fissure, and <laughs> it, it fucking it, like everyone has stupid ideas. Like they're like, "What do we do?" Picard's like, "Oh, what do we do?" And then the, and then uh, Riker's like, "Oh, we should we should vent the vent the the old exhaust fucking port and and it'll open move. the shuttle bay." Yeah, and then, <laughs> and then and then Data's like, "No, what we should do is use the tractor beam and just fucking deflect it." But yeah. they, it doesn't work, and, they, and it fucking scrapes the side of the fucking ship, and they blow up. Yeah, like and Titanic style. Yeah, like restarts hits. again. She's hit. I'm yeah. sorry. It blows and off one like, of the nacelles, one of the little hot dogs. Yeah, which and then, sort of exposes, like from a story perspective, how fucking fragile the Enterprise is. Yeah, it seems like yes. a graze against a nacelle can lead to catastrophic warp core failure. Yeah. which is like kind of crazy. Why are why we did, always aiming for the nacelles during a fight? Also, <laughs> also why didn't they just separate the saucer right away? Poop. They, also yeah, that? Yeah, <laughs> they, they should have they, done that. They could have done a saucer separation. Or there separation. seems like there should be at least a couple other steps or or emergency plans. They well, did they try to eject the warp place. core, but didn't work. Yeah. It uh, would have. I, I always want to know when I see the scene, like what if you just s- jumped straight to trying data's idea first without Me too. any debate? Thought. Yeah. Yeah. Like it's just like, go straight mm, to that. No, just use no, a tractor beam no, earlier. Oh, we should get out of here. <laughs> ideas. Just yeah, go straight like, to the tractor beam. Mm-hmm. What if he was just what able is, to is act Picard, faster? Picard being like options. He just says, do something, someone. And then he just, yeah, does yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. he should just yeah. yell data. Data, just do your thing. Yeah. What if they just blew up the ship? Because, <laughs> yeah, again, this is another episode where Data saves the day. Yeah. Except, again, you know why? You only, know why? Because he's got but, fast, but, fast fingers. He's but only finger it to contradict himself. And true. really, the yes. really the true person that should would have saved the day is Worf. Because when they keep looping, Worf, and they learn that they're in a loop, Worf is the one who suggests, maybe we should just stop moving forward. You know, that's probably <laughs> yeah. that probably would save us all. <laughs> yeah. Worf is the one that has like the great idea, actually. Like all right. maybe Fair we point. should Worf, once, Worf was right this time. Once again, they don't listen to Worf, and then Picard goes, We can't afford to second guess ourselves now. Yeah. Let's just keep moving forward anyway. Don't listen to the guy who wasn't at the meeting. <laughs> um, yeah. so so they restart again and then again they're at the fucking poker table and that's when things start to change a little bit like like she starts getting they remember a little more each yeah. time some yeah. for some reason yeah. but, but right. let me tell you about yeah. the weird part so it goes from, from in, in the second version of of the loop mm-hmm. they go they go from like it goes from her like checking out jordy's like uh, vision problem mm-hmm. to her like pruning flowers and like there's a kind of like sexy music and i was like i thought she was gonna fuck fucking jordy in this one that she had figured it out and she's like i'm just gonna fuck jordy oh, she's like one. how are you feeling now jordy <laughs> yeah, yeah. oh my god because <laughs> it hard cuts to her like in like a pink robe and i thought i thought oh my god he's he's 
she's going to bang him and then forget about it for the next loop. Um, <laughs> but anyway, she uh, does the same thing, but she kind of moves like again, the breaking of the glass. Yeah. yeah so that she, becomes a thing that's becomes like the, Ill, it's like the, her trigger, the, the omen, the omen that yeah. you can't change the future because even when it loops another time, and she goes, you know what? I'm not going to put my wine glass there. She ends up breaking the wine glass yeah, later. Yeah. So it's like this That's omen weird. of there's no way to yes. change if the future refuses to change type of thing. Yeah. You know? And then and then she wakes up and calls Picard and says, hey, are you up? And he's like, yeah, girl, swing by, girl. <laughs> she says, she and, uh, does the you up text. And yeah. He makes <laughs> and, her some and, steamed milk. And if you notice how they're sitting, dude, he crosses his <laughs> yeah. legs towards yeah. her. Picard, yeah. Picard's like, dude, you you want to come hang out with me in my my book in a brightly lit glass case? Yeah, <laughs> also, he always I'm has wearing, it though. <laughs> it I'm seems wearing, extra prominently displayed, like it's true. like in the center of attention for a lot of shots. But also, he's wearing his black fucking his black yeah, gear. He's dude. Wearing oh the, yeah, the it's stealth mode because he's gonna that's get a, in that that's a sex uniform. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> so he he made her like steamed milk or something, right? Yeah, yeah. Dude, he's Nothing like. He's He's like yeah. well, he still hasn't perfected disgusting. the recipe, I guess. No, no. He's, he's got a lot of milk. What is the recipe? Nutmeg. But he says when he has when he can't sleep at night, he tries to perfect the recipe. He said that. That's so milk. weird. He's got what he means. What he means is a pickup recipe, dude. Yeah, <laughs> the, yeah, the, yeah exactly. The, the, the recipe for desire, dude. Yeah. Um. So I, I think that he thought in my in my revisionist uh, mm-hmm. history, I like to think that he thought he was going to get laid that night. Oh, oh yeah. I mean, like he's coming over. I I have a feeling that sometimes when they get frisky, like you know, like they have they, seen they, milk, they, or like mm-hmm. when they feel like particularly good, they like get frisky. You know, like remember the episode where um, it was the one where Picard was trapped in like this experiment with three other aliens, and there was a fake Picard in the ship, mm-hmm. and then he called mm-hmm. in Beverly for a date. And then oh, yeah, they oh, like yeah, made yeah. out, and it, it, yeah. but the, the the course of events made it kind of seem like, huh? It doesn't seem that unusual. They're doing this, like they, they yeah, yeah. She's not being like, why did you call me? Are we are we dating now? What is this? It seems like it. It seemed she, like she was normal. Like, it was normal, dude. Yeah, it just seems like something they do every once in a while. So I was like, look, was, when you're trapped on business. the Enterprise, your options are limited. If you have a late night itch, you need scratched. You could go Sarah, to the holodeck. Sarah, Sarah, there's yeah. thousands the of people. There, there's also thousands of people on the ship, dude. Yeah. <laughs> and the enough. holodeck. She could Fun just enough. she could just I mean, he was uh, willing to kill her husband for her. So yeah, I mean, that's true, dude. I, I guess so, yeah. He's like gotta I remember earned, that. Yeah. I earned this. Gotta remember that fact. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> fact. <laughs> I, I still don't know why I still don't know why people love Picard when he's a fucking stone cold killer, dude. <laughs> you know? I love him. <laughs> yeah, but he's still a killer, dude. He killed the man yeah. for fucking. What is the fucking blue bowl next to her bed? It keeps showing up. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Why does she put in her, it? Why does she put her book on top of it? <laughs> it's to humidify the book. <laughs> Is it like a, is it like a, like a, when you go to like a fancy restaurant, you wash your fingers? Is it that fucking yeah. thing? Yeah, it's fin- finger bowls. Finger what bowls. the fuck yeah. is that? It's a book bowl. <laughs> it's um, very odd. So then in, in another one of the incarnations, they, they figure out that they're kind of in a time loop because basically they see. This is the exciting uh, they, loop. They, they see the ghost. Out. They see the ghost through, through Jordy's predator eyes. Mm-hmm. Also, the, um, also they can, they find out because they can predict all the cards like yes, right away. Yeah. And they go, whoa, it's crazy. And then they, they start. Does hearing, anyone else really wish they could have seen what Jordy was like talking yeah, about dude. with these yeah, after images yeah, and shit? Yeah, that would have been cool. Yeah. I love when, like he, a, when I love when Data brings up the fact that five people are fucking. Um, yeah. <laughs> five couples, five couples. With the voices, because he isolates yeah. the voices. There's like yeah. over a thousand. Would you like me to talking. isolate their sessions? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Would you like me to tell you what they're doing? I'm actually surprised uh, there's only five. Would you like to know which one of them That's were all. cowards? Well, well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> would you like to know which one of these? Which one of them are pegging? Um, <laughs> so. So I'll show you who you really are. <laughs> <laughs> so there's five couples, uh, mm-hmm. and we don't know what the combinations mm-hmm. are. You know what I mean, uh, five couples all together, uh, and then there's like a thousand people, and there's, there's like a bunch I'm of surprised there's no orgies. Like, you know, yeah, uh, dude. 
Why, why they can can't cure there any, be... They can, they can so, cure anything now, dude. Why not have some monogamous yeah. pe- or polygamous people in there, you know? Yeah, dude. Get some, get some, get some. They're, they're, yeah. They discriminate, dude, against, against <laughs> the people who... <laughs> Like I mean, they, they kind of are you know clued I mean. in because of they they have deja vu, which is that's true. A kind of what was Worf's word for it? I forget. Uh, he he said it was um something. He uh, I just the devil's passed juice. It. I forgot what he said it was. Um, nil nilpa or something. Yeah, yeah, nipa. Oh. Nilpa. I think it's like a Dale soup. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's cool because, I mean, does do you all have deja vu? I have deja vu. So I think it's. I, well, I, I actually very rarely experience I get it every so vu, often. But it's, and it's usually after waking up when I get mm-hmm. it. Really? Uh, oh, I get it randomly. Randomly. Yeah. It's usually because yeah. of dreams. So My, Mine's um, sometimes at work, but I think it's because of the repetition of work. Um, yeah. <clears throat> so, mm. so anyway, uh, Jordy uses like this Tetris machine to like basically put like a just like a one word thing. So, he, so he kind of echoes for like data. a clue. Yeah, yeah. a message. There's a, there's, in a, there's a big scientific explanation for why that'll work, but yeah. essentially, there's a way to send the message to the next loop. And then yeah, the, I don't know how they figure it out, but it but, it ha- it, but it's a it's a tiny tiny message. One, it's a one word basically. Yeah, which ends up being three. Yeah. Three, two in the two the in the and one the in number. the number. Sorry, um, <laughs> the number three. Um, which data must have decided on what the keyword would be himself? Yeah. because I remember waiting to think what they were going to come up with, and then he never it says just it. looped. He never yeah. tests that. We well, never know well, what he came he punched up with. it in. He punched it in. Yeah, right when they're about to explode, he goes on his wrist. Oh, I didn't see that. But he didn't say. He didn't explain to everybody. he didn't go, guys. I'm punching in three, three, three. Yeah. He just did it so fast because because his fingers they're me yeah. walking, mm-hmm. um, yeah. and so they have it happens again. They go back in time and they start again. They they figure out and this time things start happening in threes. Like he deals the cards in three of a kind, three of a mm-hmm. kind, three. Of a Everyone kind. has a three of a kind. And yeah. It's like, Whoa. And it, it's probably because yeah. data was stacking the deck. If you know what I mean. So mm-hmm. yeah, because they say cheater. that the message they sent to the next loop, he may not even know it consciously. It'll probably in data's unconscious, yes. so subconscious. He didn't even know that he was doing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That he was what he was doing it, or the reason why. Yeah, yeah. Um, Picard kept going west side, but he's like, "What am, what am I doing this?" <laughs> and he's, like, he's like, "Oh, three. Um, <laughs> That's uh, <what>. and so. <laughs> I'm a Biggie uh, fan, not a two. Yeah, fan. yeah, I like the East Coast <laughs> rap. Um, and so they they figure out like, oh, something's happening, but they, they don't know how to get out of it. And they're like, all right, well, back us up, dude. Back us up slowly. And and then and then they're back about to do the same slowly. thing. They're about to do the yeah. same nice thing. And, easy. Yeah. and then he's like, three, 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 three. Ooh, one in the gooch, two in the stooch, one in the gooch, two in the stooch. And then he's like, oh, I got it. The harp ladies, three. He has three harp ladies. Oh, Riker. <laughs> and then I, I, that's that's what I thought that the train of thought was. Uh, he likes the, the three harp ladies. So it must be three. And then he and he like felt it. And he's like, oh, he's got the three pins on his fucking thing. Mm-hmm. For the three harp ladies that he likes. And then he's like, and then he, he uh, vents the, what is it? The, hat? the shuttle bay. It's the main the shuttle, shuttle bay. bay that they rarely he, use. But it's he there. fucking, he vents it and it pushes them further. Mm-hmm. And uh, they're like, whoa, you saved us. How did you know? And he's like, because of the three harp ladies. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Don't thank me. Thank the three harp ladies. Yeah. <laughs> we should play it in all the screens on the ship. Yeah. <laughs> to celebrate. Yeah. And, and that's um, how the episode ends. It's just. And then everyone... fucking Frazier comes out of nowhere. And he's like, <laughs> yeah, what the hell? Like, <laughs> I use fucking like? big words. Huh. Like you said that we'd have a fun like cameo and yeah, this is really a v- very much a cameo. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. Well, I didn't even recognize him. Oh my goodness. He's, he's, super, about? he's super Kelsey grammar. I, I didn't, <laughs> I didn't <laughs> recognize him. Chelsea Clinton. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so it turns out that a couple things happened. Mm-hmm. Um, well, they, they're like, how long have we been in the loop? And then they check, they check their clock versus like the Starfleet's clock, and they've been they've been there for what? How many days? How many hours? Eighty years. Four, or, oh well, no, the it, other well, ship no. is eighty years. Oh, yeah. they're fourteen 17. days. <laughs> they lost fourteen days. No, I thought it yeah. was seventeen. I thought it was seventeen. No, or was it was seventeen? This? My bad. I think seventeen is like correct. Something yeah, like it was that. like two and a half weeks. They were stuck. Yeah, there. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. And then, but, but Kelsey Grammer yeah. uh, uh, and Fraser, they've been stuck there for years apparently 80 um, yeah 80 years and they come out and i don't know like 
I don't know these fuckers. Well, like, who are they? Are they from another show? So nope. no, they're just they're just a, a Kelsey. I, I believe Kelsey Grammer just wanted to have a cameo in Star Trek one day. Uh, but I, I, I thought he was in the show. No, he wasn't in the show. No, he was never in the show before. He was never in a movie. Well, so so what they were actually going to do? You know, um, Kirstie Alley played a Vulcan. Uh, yeah. In uh, Wrath of Khan, uh, Wrath of Khan, Star Trek Two, right? The movie. Yes. There was a Vulcan in that. So they wanted to actually have a callback to that. They wanted to say she's also in that crew. So she was supposed to have a cameo next so to the, Kelsey Grammer. All the, all the Cheers people? It was supposed to be a Cheers minor reunion what? on the start. <laughs> <laughs> Who is <laughs> who's Tim Denson? Who's Tim Denson going to be? Uh, but th- but this, they 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 didn't they couldn't get her, so they just put Kelsey Grammer in there. Why? Why? Because she had joined Scientology. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that is why. Is she a Scientologist? <laughs> I didn't I know that. Uh, yeah. Uh, but you know that they just could, they couldn't make it happen. Uh, oh, so, that's sad. Yeah. Uh, anyway, Fraser shows up and he's got a beard and he's like, "Oh, hey, what the fuck's?" Going and he's on? really like need- indignant for having almost hit their ship. Yeah. He's, and, like, uh, he's like, "Do you, he's like, excuse me, do you guys need any help?" Yeah. yeah. And he's like, he's like, he's like no, if I was Picard, I would be like, did help? you not fucking see yeah. us? Why yeah, wouldn't dude. you maneuver out of the way, asshole? Like, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> like, you made no attempts to move. No, we they saw just kept you do going nothing. forward. Yeah. yeah, what the fuck was that? What and in fact, fuck? You, you killed us. Like... <laughs> 18 yeah. times. Um, <laughs> You've been killing us for weeks. <laughs> <laughs> You've been killing us for 17 days. <laughs> um, so, and he's like, what do you mean? He's like, dude, you're not going to believe this, but you're in the future, dude. And he's like, tell me, is Calvin Klein still a thing? And they're like, yeah, dude. I hope still they fucks. still make that shampoo I like. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, just tie it all together. Tie it all together. Yeah, dude. Uh, but yeah. Because uh, he's beast. <laughs> yep, that's why. That's why I said uh, that. An- another, another, another fucking uh, uh, callback there, huh? Yeah, yeah. Because, because Beast and fucking Professor Xavier, dude. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, it's see, true. yeah, yeah they're, see? They, they've, they're everyone is all reuniting. It's all yeah, everyone tired, is dude. everything. <laughs> so yeah, it, it, dude, it was fun. It, like it, 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 like what's so cool about this episode is this, this is technically is a bottle episode because you don't really did you didn't do. They a spent lot. all their money on mm-hmm. different shots of the Enterprise yeah. exploding because yeah. it's not just the same shot over and over. They, they have yeah, different yeah. angles and different yeah. ways of it exploding. Yeah. So, Apparently, some guy also like went around collecting all the debris and like broken pieces. I'm gonna use this later, and he did in another <laughs> well, really? show. Oh, really? Nice. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Neat. <laughs> so this this was a fun episode. Like, it's the most fun I've had all season long. I think uh-huh. also one part of like this is a it, ten, Marvin. It's a ten for me. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just saying it's uh, you can't they, change they, my mind, dude. They managed to it, avoid. <laughs> they managed to avoid fatigue with the loop. Like yeah. it, which is hard to do, and I mean, part of that. What are you is, talking about? Every movie does that. They just they just show a different part of the fucking loop. No, well, not they. That they don't always do that though. They're often showing the same scene over and over again, and they not lived that repeat. The best loop movie ever made. Well, not well. Here they were showing the same bridge scene over and over again, and yeah, the way but they, how, how you can't make that dynamic? Like once you've shown it once, it, that's all you need, dude. No, no. You you misheard me. They made it not fatiguing. <laughs> oh yes, 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 yes. You know what I mean? Like they yes. they managed sorry, to. Uh, I was going to defend this fucking episode. Like, <laughs> yeah, Ricardo was like <laughs> at, like uh, up here, like yeah, ready to go. I'm, I, ready. I, I I love this episode, Marvin. You don't understand. So what dude. happened is that Measure of a Man uh, is shit compared to this episode, dude. <laughs> so so wow. this is this is a second episode, or no, this is the third script that Jonathan Frakes was given to direct. And he directed. Oh, he directed yeah, this. He, yeah, 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 Jonathan yeah. Frakes oh, did. Oh, I and, and noticed he that, was, dude. At first, he thought they dope. were playing a prank on him because it, the, the scripts in, for TNG are split into five acts, and he kept seeing each act starting exactly the same. And he was like, "Are you guys fucking fucking with me? What is this?" And then he realized, "Oh, it's this type of story." Okay, and then he went through a bunch of different ideas. He was like, "Okay, by this point, I know how to shoot the Enterprise from lots of different angles." So what he did is he did a multicam shoot for a lot of it. So a lot of the scenes on the Enterprise, they're the exact same performance because it was they had like three cameras running and they just cut it together from different angles. And what I really like is that as the loop keeps happening, the shots get crazier and crazier. Like we see yeah. like an overhead shot of the conference room. Yeah. Uh, I think the third time Beverly's going through her loop and she's freaking out, it's all handheld. And mm-hmm. it's like really unusual the way it feels 
and yeah she's, and it's like, like, she's like quickly picard did did you kill my husband <laughs> she's like yeah it's, it, it still happened um <laughs> so yeah the, like he went out of his that's way to like the totem is how did you kill my husband <laughs> yeah <laughs> uh but then yeah she's, so a, then, she's it, picard the card is like with <laughs> With an Earl Grey, <laughs> Earl Grey, hot. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I think I think they, they do a really good job of making sure that the loop is coherent uh, yes. and interesting each time. Yes. Uh, so yeah. good on good on Jonathan good on Jonathan Franks, dude. Because uh, you know what, he's every fun. time he's directed an episode, it's a banger. Like I, yeah. I feel like he knows what. Like I think the standout to me personally so far is still Drumhead for the directing. Uh, uh, hard dr- pass for me, dude. <laughs> <laughs> well, dr- I think Drumhead's quite good. Uh, I don't even remember is, what that is, dude. What is it's that? the one it's where right. they're going around and the admiral came on and they were doing uh, the trials where they keep putting nah. people on trial. This, this like, episode's better than that. Yeah, no, I think the, I think the Drumhead's more interesting. Oh, but I like this no. episode too. There's l- there's less to be yeah, angry dude. about in this episode. Yeah, dude, this one's a banger, dude. You got fucking Fraser, dude, at the end. <laughs> The beard, yeah, beast himself, and and he's got the little cravat that kind of looks like he's in Shakespearean times. Yeah, the it's, it's the it's the old yeah, it's the it's, it's the, the old ribbed like turtleneck. Yeah. It's the it's the Wrath of Khan era. Uh, he's like, does Captain thou Uniform, challenge yeah. me to a duel? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> does thou bite your thumb at me? Uh, <laughs> it's back when every starship also doubled as a ski lodge. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So Ricardo gives it a ten. Sarah, Fuck what yeah, did dude. you give? It? I love this episode. Uh, I give it a nine. Um, it's pretty, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. I love this episode because this episode, you really get a sense of Jonathan Frakes directing style coming through. I think finally I've seen enough episodes to be like, does I can recognize. Style? Really? Yeah. Yeah. I do. I, hmm. I feel like he does. Like, I feel like I can recognize when it's him because he also chooses more interesting shots and i feel like the the cinematography is a lot more interesting and the acting and the, just the shot choices are are they're just it's a different flavor and i feel like i, I think when he directs he wants to like yeah. impress you know so every time he directs he's like i'm gonna try all the stuff i can yeah and, it becomes yeah. experimental it becomes fun it becomes different and it's not so formulaic in the way that they shoot things I kind of had um, that thought myself too, only that yeah. like, but then I had the counter thought like, well, this episode in particular almost mandates as many different types of shots as you can muster. Well, I can very easily see a version of this where they take the lazy route and they literally replay the footage. Right. But know? as soon as you say, I don't want to do that, like then the, your job is set. Right. I wish, right. I wish, I, I wish, mean, like as soon as you say, I in. don't want to be lazy, suddenly your path is clear. Use I every fucking Doc, shot you know. I wish Dr. Brown would have showed up with a DeLorean, the flying DeLorean. <laughs> and he's like, Ugh. You just just like, we have to do something bridge. about your kids. <laughs> yeah. I just, but yeah. I also, I also felt like there was a really, this episode showed a really good variety in not only shots, but also acting. Like there's a couple moments that are really, really small, particularly with Jordy. And when he's having the repeat, uh, lives that repeat. Yeah, when he's having the repeat health issue, the dizziness spell with Mm -hmm. um, Beverly, his performance changes ever so subtly in each of the iterations. And I just love. I think towards some of the last iterations of the repeat loop, he's almost just like kind of whispering in a weird way. He's like, "What's what's." going on like i just i don't know it's like his performances shift very subtly in a very good way that captivated me and it's something that could be maybe skipped over or i don't know i've just never seen that from him and a very like toned down subtle acting style and i just i just loved it i loved they were also really get really it. close on him yeah uh, there, was a, there was a shot where it was like really right on his face and you like can almost like see the texture of his lips and he's like, what's going on? I think in yeah. general, Gates McFadden, she's like kind of the anchor of the episode because she's almost she like is, the yeah. yeah, that well, was kind of a shame. That was kind of a shame. <laughs> I'm kind of surprised, Ricardo, that you well, chose I know. this. Yeah. I know. Well, I think, you know, she's Beverly, the focal point. Bever- Beverly as a psychopathic killer aside, I think Gates McFadden in general 
consistently, she did a good job. consistently when she's given the opportunity is a good actor and mm-hmm. really but gets. Do you to, notice that she didn't kill anybody when she doesn't kill anybody? <laughs> well, she knows okay. the whole ship's going to die. So it, that's true. No, she kills everybody. Really? <laughs> she, she nearly yeah, killed I some guess more technically. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I just, I really love the shot variety, the performance variety and how each actor with each loop really brought their own different spin on how to basically say the same lines over and over again. Yeah. But it was different. It felt different and exciting each time. So for that, I give it a nine, like I said. Cool. Not enough to give it a ten, huh? You didn't like that (laughs) that much? We got room to grow. Room to grow. (laughs) What about you, Dan? What about you, Dan? What you doing? What you doing? What you doing? What you gonna do? I'm also at a nine. (laughs) <laughs> right. And I agree that Bever- or Gates McFadden's acting in particular was pretty good here. And I think Picard's acting in that scene with Beverly mm. was like, uh, what I noticed about it is that he kept his voice really low the whole time. Mm. Well, everyone's sleeping. Shh, don't wake yeah, it's you. like <laughs> It's like the most comforting I've ever heard Picard sound, I think. It's like, okay. I, 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 I did like how he panicked when he was like, ah, ideas. Ah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's funny that like, I think I think Beverly sleeps with ribbons in her hair. That's kind of a weird. Yeah, it's weird. It's a weird <laughs> pink ribbon like on one side that you ever see. Like you, you're not. I, I'm not sure you ever see how it was supposed to look. Yeah, yeah it's just it's just in there. It just looks yeah. weird. It's just like, well, she's sleeping. She needs something. <laughs> <laughs> so they do that. Um, all right. Uh, I think I would give this a nine as well. However. I do have a criticism of the episode because uh, I don't is. think I don't think it's flawless. I actually am not a big fan of the solution, which is the number three. I think oh, yeah. it's I think it's a little weird. It's like intentionally not direct, you know, like they're intentionally like trying to come up with like a weird thing. Be like, what could three mean? How could mm-hmm. three apply to saving the thing? And I just don't think that in particular was a very good solution because it's like, okay, why would anyone think three means three pips? There are other people with three pips on the ship. But it was for Data to Yeah, it's like, I guess only Data could decipher his own clue in that exact way. Exactly. Because it was a closed loop, I guess. I I feel like you could just, if you're going to send back a warp, uh, uh, like a a message, why send back three? Why not send back Riker? Why not send back... Like well, it was limited. Bay? They said they can only maybe he could literally only fit the letter three because they said Riker it was, is also five letters. No, so. no, no. I I think they put the number three, like three, just one character, three. That's mm, it. Maybe like, that's all they could fit. That was my understanding. Was that the message that could be sent back was he typed so, an awful so lot just small. to get the letter three or the number and three <laughs> that they just put the number three. Literally, that's it. Yeah, Marvin. He typed it. Say. He typed it in three times. <laughs> like, three, no, three, he had three, to three, type three. in every instance of three you saw in the next loop. Yeah, mm-hmm. <laughs> that was my that was my understanding of it. Is that it had to be something as small. He as He had like to he had to character. manually load his subconscious with manual three inputs. Yeah, dude. So that he they would a, keep right. on emerging in his daily process. What did you want to do, dude? Sixty nine, and then he's also, like, oh, 69, 69. There's there's no there's no guarantee <laughs> that like moving the shuttle bay. Or opening the shuttle bay that way would have secured. Like, there's nothing that may would have made data instantly go. Oh yeah, that definitely works. That's the solution. You know, what if they sent that and it didn't work, and then they died again, and also, then we would also then there'd also, be a new time loop. Yeah. Also, yeah. what if and that wasn't working. the end of the time loop? What if what if the like. <laughs> what if their death wasn't the end of the time loop? Oh, like, and they, they, they just kept go, going. And they just wake up again at the poker table. And they're like, wait. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's like That's that video game. It's like, That's a game. It's like it's like that game Dan and I played uh, 12 minutes where oh, the game, yeah. like halfway through the halfway point of the game is you solve the murder and it still loops. And then you go, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> I kind of forgot that that's what happens in that game. I'm also reminded of that movie Room 1408. Oh, I never seen that movie. No, no. So. I mean, no one really actually needs to see it. It's just that it's one of those horror movies where it's like you keep thinking you're out of the room, but you're not. <laughs> the mm-hmm. room is bigger than you think. It's a yeah, very it really big room. <laughs> You'd be yeah, surprised, so that's, man. So that's that's my only criticism of it. Uh, I, I think I, I was hoping for like a less obtuse ending, but I like it. I like the whole conceit. I, I I think this is one of those episodes where the technical construction of it is what tickles at my fancy the most rather yeah, than yeah. the uh, the storytelling 
or anything else. I feel yeah, like this, this is-, is one of my biggest fears is being stuck in a time loop. <laughs> really? Yeah. That's odd. I, it, it's, it okay. Is. It, it's okay to have I, an It is one fear. of my biggest yeah. fears yeah. is being stuck in a time loop or situation for an unknown well, well while of being time. conscious of it right yes while being uh, well yeah. obviously yeah if i yeah, i mean this could be like if you this knew could be the- a fucking time loop right exactly. now i wouldn't even know um it's okay it to have a weird is. fear like, I, this is now like the twenty three thousand yeah. eight hundred seventy fifth time you've said that my weird fear is that the moon is too close to the earth or that it gets too close to the earth. Okay. That will my, happen one day. That's a legitimate the, fear. That's my weird fear. The moon is actually drifting away from the earth. Uh, yeah. I think, I think like that, three inches a year. Uh, <laughs> I mean, also it's far enough away that you can fit all the planets of our solar system in between us yes, and the moon. It's actually quite far. Uh, yeah. But you know. Wow. Uh, that's crazy actually. Yeah. That yeah. fact blows my mind every time I think about it. Yeah, but I have, all those I have, charts and diagrams in class like screwed us over, man. Oh no, it yeah, makes it n- think it's so none much. None of those are to scale. If you kept it to scale, you could barely see Jupiter and Saturn and other right. planets. You would, would I feel not like, be visible. I feel yeah. like the real scales should almost always accompany like a real like like a standard chart. I had a really good uh, science teacher in middle school who tried to demonstrate the scale of it to us, and they just said, "Hey, okay, pretend we are all the averaged size of the planets." And mm-hmm. let's go to the gymnasium. And you took us to the gymnasium and they had us go all the way across the gymnasium, all the way to the quad, all the way across. And they're like, this is how far apart the planets are. And I was like, oh. <laughs> There's like a public uh, art installation, I think, out in like UC Berkeley or something that has like fixed to scale. Mm-hmm. Like this is as far away as this planet should be from the next planet or something like that. Wow. I think. That's cool. I like oh, that. Yeah, we all gave it a pretty high score. Carl gave a perfect 10. Wow. Yeah, wow. like it, the more I think about it, it, it's definitely a way more fun concept than it actually is an execution, like I think. Like, yeah, it's, I, mm. I think like it's the like, idea of it being a time loop and the fun of figuring it out is more fun than the actual content of the episode itself. It also seems really fun to make. Like, yeah, yeah, like, there's that too. Like being like, oh, oh it's apparently, super fun. apparently, yeah. even the cast and crew were like, it was kind of like comforting to reshoot the same scenes over and over again. They well, thought it was it's, like, it's it allows them to to play and to have fun and also yeah. less lines to memorize, probably, and yeah, just kind of replaying the same the same thing over around. again. Yeah, it's, it's a really. I, if puzzles. I were an actor, I think it would be a really fun shoot to do yeah i think i think it'd be neat and also challenging how do you make your performance different from the last well this is is, a cause and effect yeah there isn't like too much to discuss because it does literally repeat five times i think so uh it's just it's just what is what it is but uh yeah it's a fun episode uh it's one of the better episodes oh my god there's a little kitten on ricardo's chest (laughs) wait did you guys decide on a name yeah, Timothy Chalamet. Oh, it's Timothy. Okay. Oh, shit. Timothy Chalamet or whatever. Oh my is. god! Well, welcome, <laughs> wow, Timothy, okay. and thank you, listeners, for listening to this episode. Is it a boy or a girl? Trek. Do you I don't know? know? I think it's a girl. Uh, you think it's a girl? Oh my god! Look at this, <laughs> sweetie. Anyway, yeah. For those listening, Ricardo is holding a very cute, small ginger kitten. You can't and see that. And it's. <laughs> <laughs> Does this kitten identify as a ginger? No. No. <laughs> oh my gosh, this kitten's reaching up to you. Oh my gosh, shut up. Well, if you guys have been enjoying yeah. the episode, Very give cute. us a rating. Uh, you can uh, give us a review or a comment or a rating wherever you are if you feel like it. You know, if you want to. If you, you don't, don't you don't. To. If you don't, you don't know. But also, if you ever want to send us an email, you can always email us at contact at newbiestartrek.com. That's contact at newbiestartrek.com. Dot com. So what we got this ep- this this episode, this email subject line clown crusher. <laughs> oh, nice. Okay. Uh, hi, newbie pod. I am catching up on your season five episodes and just finished Ensign Row. Unfortunately, some of the commentary is particularly poignant at the moment. However, mm-hmm. I laughed when Wait, it was mentioned. What was that about? I don't remember. Uh, the Bajorans, and mm-hmm. especially in a modern context, are yeah. essentially an analog for Palestinians. Yeah. Oh yeah. So, yeah. You know, I remember that uh, episode. 
Yeah. However, uh, I laughed when it was mentioned Beverly Crusher could be part clown, namely because Gates McFadden herself <laughs> is a trained Comedia del Art performer who trained yeah. in Paris and even had her own touring female clown group in the 70s, hence Whoa. the unicycle. So you yeah. could be onto something. That's what I remember. I, that picture of her on that, like, yeah, on just that in, the, cycle in, the, thing. in the CBS lot. She's just like between sh- shots, just riding on a unicycle for fun. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I have to admit, I am a Beverly Crusher fan since I was a kid, but I love all your jokes and theories about her being a secret serial killer. Uh, I love to, <laughs> I love, <laughs> I love to mock Trek lovingly, and it's great fun to hear a bunch of people who have a similar humor to you. Also, thank you for validating my hate of Darmok. All the best, D. Yeah, oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. That was From the best Zealand, line ever. Thank the Voyager you. Penal Colony. To be honest. I don't. I am the only one here who does not hate Darmok. I like. Darmok. Okay, it's not that I don't hate. It's not that I hate Darmok. It's that I got built up way too high. I know. Yes. Yeah. For yeah. that mm-hmm. landmark milestone episode, and it's not just because of you, Marvin. I just know that those phrases it's mean one of the most, so much. It's, it's such a memed Star Trek episode. Right. Exactly. <laughs> dude, you hyped it up too much, dude. That's what I remember. <laughs> I think after that, we we told you not to hype up. Things. Yeah, I didn't hype it up at all. I don't think I did. Somebody hyped it up. You do. You do. I, but I, don't I think, think I you hyped- did say something to indicate that it was a big deal. But I just said it's it- a famous episode, but I don't think I like hyped it up. Like, oh my God, you guys are going mean, to love got, this episode. We got, I feel no, like we got a fair, lot of not hate. Do that. <laughs> we got a lot of hate for our... <laughs> well, yeah, like our people people really it. love Darmok. Yeah. I mean, and I can see why they would love Darmok. It's just that I saw Rival first. I'm sorry. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. I still hate that episode. <laughs> and that's fine. <laughs> and I I think I think one piece of advice I'd like to give general fans of anything is just don't take people's opinions about media personally. <laughs> I think a lot of people tie yeah. their love of a franchise or of a piece of media property to personal identity. Oh boy, and- Marvin, you're hurting a lot of Disney adults' feelings right now, okay? <laughs> well, they need to hear this the most. <laughs> I don't know, man. Zack Snyder fans. <laughs> yeah, Especially dude. Zack Snyder fans. You, you just, just need the Snyder Zack verse, Snyder dude. fans. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Snyder verse. <laughs> Release the uh, Snyder cut of TNG. <laughs> yes, dude. Make, make it square. Square. Yeah. Uh. You know, it's funny after the Snyder cut was released, all these other directors are being like, well, I have my own, like <laughs> Paul Feig for the Ghostbusters reboot with the all female Ghostbusters was saying, well, there's a three and a half hour version of this Ghostbusters movie. And, and we were like, no, we no, no, nobody wants to watch that. <laughs> nobody. Um, um, no, actually what's so funny is during the pandemic, because it was no new content at the time, People, that's why it came out. Yeah. That's why it came out. But like everyone was doing it. Like uh, they re-released the Godfather three. Right. Uh, right. Yeah. Yeah. They re-released uh, Rocky, Rocky four was four. recut. Yeah. 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 You know, because they were like, we nobody, we can't shoot anything. Let's just recut old things that we already. Yeah. They should have <laughs> so. recut the 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 air cut. <laughs> uh, for for Suicide Squad, you mean? And Train Day. Give us a four hour training day movie, dude. Oh my God. That would be, that would be fa- very fatiguing. It's, it's nah, a very intense dude. already. Yeah. It would be just like, <laughs> dude, uh, I say they make a fucking training day episode of the fucking Star Trek, dude. <laughs> Imagine, dude. Who would be the Denzel Washington? I think would- it'd be, it'd be Worf mm-hmm. and it would Worf be. Worf is too honorable. He would be the ride along. No, no, that's what I'm saying. Worf, Worf's the, the, the uh, Jake character. He's the okay. innocent guy. Yeah. And and then fucking Picard makes him fucking smoke crack, dude. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, or I don't know, you like to get wet, dude. The Denzel is his brother. Like the guy. Yeah, he's nice. bringing Candyman. Because he's in, he's in oh, Klingon. Because yeah, yeah. he's in, yeah. he's steeped in the Klingon bullshit culture. Yeah, dude. Yeah. You know? So like, yeah. That's, he goes on pr- a, that's pretty good, dude. Yeah. They go on a ride along on a Klingon cruiser. And he's like. Or, or <laughs> Data. Data and Riker, dude. Date and Riker. Who is Data? Is innocent. Data is Data's, 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 Data's uh, innocent. Jake. Okay. So Data does not make Riker smoke crack. No, no, no. Riker but, but, makes Data smoke crack. <laughs> and it does nothing. No, so. he's like, he's like, <laughs> he just keeps smoking it and goes, yeah. this is fine. He, he's like, it, it, t- it has a smooth taste. Uh. <laughs> anyway, th- everybody, thank you for listening. If you liked it, head on over to fugitiveframes.com and you can. Listen to all the stuff we do over there. But or next don't. time, oh well, yeah, you don't you don't have to. You don't have to do all that. Next time, 
the first duty uh <laughs> yeah. duty <laughs> uh it it's yeah it's an episode it's yeah, a famous you episode caught yourself. you caught yourself dude it's a famous don't even episode. say that I'll don't even say that. say that dude none of these episodes <laughs> are famous and they're all famous don't say that <laughs> no. yeah nothing shit on it about star trek. next week we're gonna shit on it dude <laughs> I'm not Dar- saying it's famous for good reasons. Darmok so. sucks, dude. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, I mean, now he has that forever in the chamber to you know, rile yeah, up any just, fans. He, he's we, doing we it want. just for anger. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye. Uh, Bye, hey, everyone. Hey, Until hey, next happy, time. Happy Bugle Week. Happy Bugle Week. Happy Bugle Week.